All right, welcome everybody. This is Mr. Fry, and I'm going to demonstrate some strategies for Block the Pig. Since all the levels are random, I can't guarantee what's going to happen right away, but I'll talk through a couple of basic ideas. All right, so here's a great one for getting started. The pig is pointing this way. Uh, not too bad of a map. One of the great strategies to use early is you got to block the pig from getting off this part of the map. If you let the pig get to this square right here, the pig can get out here, here, and here. Pretend there's not a rock here for a second, and that's a disaster. So this step is always a problem. One way to solve it is to have there be a rock right here and a rock right here. Now when the pig takes a step here, you close it off here, and now the pig actually has to turn around and go backwards. So that's a pretty helpful one. All right, now as I look at this, one of the main things you want to do is decide where are the places that are dangerous. One step here, the pig could get out, so I'm ready to block that off. Over here, if the pig got going, this gets a little problematic. I got two more blocks to place. Over here, the pig would have to take a step to get here, so I'm pretty safe. So I'm going to go ahead and block this one off. And then the last thing is this area here. I'm going to go ahead and block it off pretty far away from the pig. So I have lots of time to cover it up. So I'm going to go like this. The pig goes there. Pig goes there. I close this one up. Pig comes up up here. I close that one. And boom, I got him. So again, the strategy, never put them right on top of the pig. Check your places to see how it looks. And then close off. All right, they gave me a free one. Just one, two, three. Those are always nice and easy. All right, this one here. Now, I don't mind if the pig tries to get out over there. That's fine. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Pig tries to come out over here. I have a step, and that's perfect. All right, so here. Now, if I go, if the pig comes down here, I have time to close that one off. If the pig goes here, I'm going to take this one. So now it goes like that. And now I'm going to pick this one so that in order for the pig to get out, he'd have to go there and I'd have time to get him. Oh, and I can actually even close that off. So like that and like that and boom. Okay, and they gave me another free one. Ah, they like Mr. Fry. No, I don't have a cheat code going. Oh my gosh, they're being ridiculous. All right, so let's see here. Is this anything tricky? All right, so again, we've got this problem of how to get out. Um, here, there's no real easy way to do this one and this one. It would take up two. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, then I'm going to come here. And basically, I want to block this off as far away as I can with two. This is going to just kind of protect the pig from getting out down here. And this is going to be good that way. So now I can go like this. Pig goes up. I go like that. I go like this. And I go like that. All right. All right, so here's like a first slightly open one. I sure don't want the pig going down here. Up here is a problem. Up here is pretty well protected. And over here, I probably need to put one here. So I'm thinking I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. And then I'll put one here. All right, so I'm fine here. Pig goes up. I got to block him. All right, so now I want to use this time. The pig can't get out. I have like, in a sense, a free move. The pig either has to come here, but if he does, he can get to that one or that one, and then I'm in trouble. If he goes this way, um, I'm in a little bit of danger, but not as bad. So this is the one that's actually problematic. I would love the pig to still go over this way, so I'm going to go like this, and the pig did. So now I get all this extra time, and I just close them off. In general, try to help your pig go in a direction that helps you. All right, so I'm going to go, let's think. I don't mind the pig. Almost everything over here is fine. I probably need one over here. I probably need one here, and I probably need one here. So I'm going to go like this. Um, in general, I want to put it in between bricks so that one brick can close up the space. I'm pretty sure I can beat him here. Down here, I have one brick away, so I should be good. So I want to do one more here, like that. And then since I have a two opening here, I'm going to go like this. Actually, I'm going to let the pig get that way a little bit. 
All right, so now I'm hoping the pig is actually going to take a step there. So I'm going to use this time to um, come over here and block. So that's perfect. He did. So now I just chase the pig around the outside. And that's perfect. So again, always trying to talk the pig into going where you want. All right, one, two, three, come this way and die. What are we up to here? Round 11. All right, let's see here. So no super perfect one. If I go here, I force the pig up. That's pretty good. Um, I don't mind the pig coming down here. I can get him. Um, pig comes over this way. It's not bad. It's not great. And then I probably need to protect up here. All right, so I'm definitely going to do that one. Um, what I might actually do is just force the pig to go up. So if I do that, pig goes up, and then I can cut him off. Yeah, this works. All right, so I'm going to go like that. Pig goes here. You cast a run. Uh-oh. All right, so let's, I got to be smart here for a second. All right, so if I go here, pig goes here. I go here. Pig goes here. And then he's going to get out. So I can't do that. All right, if I go here, pig goes here. I go here, pig goes here, and I'm in trouble. So I have to get ahead of this pig and try not to let him get to where I don't want. So I don't mind him coming here, especially if I can go like that. So that's perfect. Okay, so now he goes up, and now he goes like that, and I got him. So again, it's that strategy time of spending a minute and thinking about how you get him to go where you want. All right, over here, I've got a nice spot. I just block that one. Here, there's a two. I'm going to block that one. Here, there's kind of a two, but it's a one over here. Doesn't really matter. I'll just go ahead and block it. Block there, block here, block here, block here, block here. Perfect. All right. Got a lot of opening here. Got a lot of kind of opening here, kind of opening here. All right, so I'm not exactly sure how to do this one. It's going to take the pig a little bit to go down, so I'm not too worried about going down. Here is actually a problem, so I'm going to kind of go here, and then I think I need two up here. So I'm going to go like this and like this. All right, so pig goes this way. i got to block him off. All right, so now again, he's stuck in the middle, so I have a free move. I want him to come here. I'm going to let him go there. So I'm going to put one right here. That's perfect. He comes down. I hope he goes there. Um, I'm going to use this time to kind of block off over here. That's perfect. I go like this, like this. He's got to get up and I get him. So again, notice if the pig is about to escape and you have to cut him off or if you've got a free minute and you can use that time. All right, let's see here. We're on round 14. All right, up is totally wide open. This is pretty wide open. This is pretty wide open. This is definitely a little bit of a problem level. All right, so what I'm hoping is I'm going to go here. If the pig comes down this way, I'm good. I'm hoping the pig's going to turn and go this way. Um, I can go here, and that'll take care of it. And then if he does go up, I'm not totally sure this is going to work. He, uh, there's too many spaces here, but I'm hoping I can catch him up this way. All right, so pig went this way. I'm perfect. He goes up. I've got to block him. And now he went down, and I just got kind of lucky. All right, so I have plenty of time to get to this one, plenty of time to get to this one. So I'm going to close up top. I close here. I close here. I've got this space. I close here. I close here. I close here. And, you know, again, I set myself up to get lucky, but I did get a little bit lucky. All right, we're on 15. I'm going to do the same strategy here of going like this. Um, and then here I'm going to go, I can't give him this space without either blocking this one or this one, or I have to block here. I think I'm going to actually go like this to see if I can get him to go down. All right, so he goes that way and he went up. It's a little bit of a problem. Oh, he went back down, stupid pig. All right, so now I go like this. He is stuck for a little bit. I'm going to go like that. This one goes here, and then bingo, and I got him. All right, round 16. Um, I need to either force him up that way, and then if he goes this way, I can cut him off there. If he goes over here, so this is an easy one. Uh-oh, did I goof? 
Uh-oh, I might have goofed. All right, let's see if I can get out of this. So I have to go here. I can't let him. Um, and now I'm in trouble. I think I goofed and I just lost this one. Yeah, I think I played this too safe. All right, so you can see, even when you're being good, when you're being careful, you goof every once in a while. Um, if I let him go here, oh, wait, no, I could let him come here and hope that he does. Oh, ho, ho, I got lucky. Again, stupid pig. I got totally lucky there. But I had a level where I was really stuck, and the only way to win it was to give the pig a chance to make a dumb move. At least I gave him that chance, and I got lucky. All right, let's see if any other interesting ones come up. So here I'm going to do like this and like this. I think everything else looks good. I'm going to go like this, and we're fine. Um, I'm going to go up here. Um... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. This is all easy. No problem. Nice, easy level. All right, so here is a little bit tricky. Let's think. All right, so what would I like to happen? This I can close off. This I can close off. I don't need to do anything here. Down here, I'm good. If he comes here, that's a little problematic. Um, so I kind of almost want to cut the pig off to go, like, up this way. So I might actually do like that. So if he goes up, oh no, I just screwed up. Wow, I keep blowing it. Um, let's see, if I go this way, right, he does that, did I get lucky? Oh my god, this pig is the stupidest pig in the world. All right, I'm going to come here, and man, I got lucky that time. I really goofed, and the pig made a dumb move for me. All right, we're on 19. I'm going to block him here. I'm going to block him here. I don't know which way he's going to go. He could go up or down. So I'm going to just go ahead and take a chance. He'll go down. up is a little more problematic. Yeah, I'll probably go like that. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to go like this because I don't mind him going down. I'm going to try to keep him coming this way. Perfect. So now I go like that, and now I just race him like that. So again, guide your pig where you wish him to go. All right, I'm going to close him off there, and then I'm going to close him here. So here, if he goes up, he's got to go to this square first. If he comes this way, he's got to go to this square first. So by picking this one, I can tell where he's going to go and just cut him off. So that helps a lot. All right, round 21. All right, so let's think here. I'm going to make him either go down, go up, or if he comes in the back, it doesn't matter. So we're good. So like that, like that, like that. Oh, crap. Ha, ha, ha. There's Mr. Fry clicking fast and not paying attention. All right, 13 minutes is too long anyway. We made it to around level 20. That's not bad for a little bit of demo of Block the Pig.